world leaders are at the Global Conference on Health Promotion, which Chinese Premier Li Keqing opened in Shanghai. Joanna Shields is one of them. As a British minister who worked first for former Prime Minister David Cameron and now for Theresa May, her work helps combat child exploitation and online extremism. But it's also her background as a tech executive that makes her voice particularly important this week. She spoke to our special contributor, James Chow. Baroness Shields, you are a UK minister who comes into that office with a wealth of private sector experience. You've worked at AOL, Google, Facebook. With all that knowledge, especially when put together, what are the emerging technologies that health can tap into as a society and a community that is a bit more conservative? Yeah, I don't know where to begin, James, because there's so many areas in which um, technology can facilitate innovation, certainly in the, in the health field, along with all the immense benefits that have been delivered by technology and all the empowering that we're doing, connecting people and bringing them together and giving them access to information and services. There were also a downside. There were some unintended consequences that we needed to use technology to address. And the first one that we um, set out to work on in the UK was child sexual abuse online. And so that was a, not only a public health problem because you know you need to deal with the devastating consequences of child sexual abuse, but how the internet was accelerating that and how could we apply technology to help solve that problem, to identify the perpetrators, to facilitate investigations, and to support the victims in that process. You created We Protect. And that's a movement to really put in the safeguards so that our youngest and most precious and most vulnerable are many steps away from predators. You have a set of skills that can be applied to all. What are one or two of them? Well, the We Protect Alliance is you know, bringing together a multi-stakeholder approach because, of course, the internet transcends borders. And what we find is that sometimes countries try to solve problems on their own, and you just literally can't because these, tra these um, problems transcend national boundaries. So we had to come up with an innovative approach. We had to come up with a new way of trying to solve these problems by bringing the world community together and aligning them you know, initially on combating child sexual exploitation online. But it's a model that we think we protect could be applied to any other of the health issues. You're an important figure at this conference, even though you may not come from health per se. Your work is all about risk and prevention. What's the next big threat that we should all be looking out for? The other issue that I work on um, specifically is around online extremism. We have a very serious issue of far-right extremism in Europe. We have um, Islamist extremism. We work very um, closely with the communities and civil society in understanding how these threats manifest online, how they intend to influence people into this dangerous ideology to where they would provoke them to violence. So how do we understand, based on open data, how people are feeling and relating to those narratives? And what do we do in working with civil society to combat those?